So this is something super passionate about it. Obviously, Pilates is very much about finding your core, so it's centralization. And, and what that even means is how can we tap into your trunk muscles, your pelvic stabilizing muscles, just so that you can prevent injury and be more efficient as a human, even without being a runner per se, but just as um, holding your posture in a good way. People, I think, is something that they underdo is very much specific core training. And sort of quite briefly in terms of what, what even is the core. So um, I think it does have this imagery and this aesthetic as being like your, your six pack abs at the front, just getting really cheese grater shredded abs. And, and then you've got a strong core and quite, quite honestly, some of the most ripped um, athletes that I've ever de dealt with, you give them an actual specific core session to do and you can see them trembling and that's because they're deep abdominals, the ones that are sort of the functional holding all your spinal tissue together are not specifically strong. They've got this great global complex and they look terrific, but um, what's happening inside, which is sort of often what matters is, is actually not really firing properly. So the core muscles is you've got your deep abdominals at the front, you've got your obliques at the side, but not only that, you've got your deep lower back muscles at the back. And if you think of this core, as like a corset that wraps around the torso. And then also you've got your pelvic floor from the very bottom. Um, an image that I remember um, as a physio student that they said, you think of your core as, you know, those sumo nappies, right? So you're coming up nice and tight, those um, from the front and the sides, and that's gonna stabilize your pelvis. And then away you go. And I've always had that sort of um, amazing imagery. But in terms of how we can strengthen the core, it's, it's not necessarily about just doing lots of crunches and lots of planks. And quite often, they're not particularly done well and you're using other muscle groups, your shoulders and your legs. So the way to do the core is through a very specific gradual program, which often starts very basic and a little bit, I'm going to say, boring because you've really got to tap the neuromuscular firing into the right muscles, so the deep muscles. And then you can progress and have a bit of fun with it. And that's when you can get to your, your actual core workouts where you might be doing things like side planks, um, it, you know, your, your dead bugs, your crunches and that sort of stuff. But um, it's, it's something that I think is perhaps a little bit underdone in the gym world as well. Um, so you see a whole lot of people doing a million crunches on a Swiss ball, for example, but, you know, deep abdominals and actually getting those nice, um, functional muscles firing is it's not going to do a lot of good there on that Swiss ball. So, um, yeah, it's something that I'm passionate about and I do teach um, quite a lot of, especially in my sort of beginner Pilates sessions, really tapping into the correct core muscles. And, and you'll know yourself too, when you're doing it right, you'll know you're doing it right. Um, so it's about finding the right technique, the right dosage, and then implementing it I honestly think, you know, every second day in really small bites as opposed to one big session a week to try and get the most out of your um, functional outcome.